coronavirus has made some phrases very popular in recent times. We're talking self-quarantining, self-observation, and self-monitoring. Now, for the past five months, the world has been brought to a standstill uh, with what WHO has described as a global pandemic, which is global, uh, which is coronavirus. Now, a lot of people have recorded cases. Uh, a number of people have died as well. As it stands now, about 300,000 people worldwide have contracted the virus. About 14,000 of them have unfortunately lost their lives. And from what we know, we'll be recording a lot more cases. Even here in Ghana, the number stands at 24 with one death. And there have been conversations about the fact that you should look out for some of the symptoms. If you have a fever, you have headache, uh, dry cough, then maybe you should uh, find a way to self-quarantine. Give yourself about 14 to 21 days uh, to see if you can see some of these symptoms and report to a doctor or at least stay home and you know take care of yourself and so we have a medical team in the studio with us to explain to us what some of these phrases really mean what you really need to look out for in order to protect yourself and protect the people that are close to you as well and when it comes to isolating yourself what are some of the things that you can do so that you don't get bored and i'm talking uh social and medical stuff as well and so i have dr michael quaffo he's a general uh, practitioner at the nyaho medical center thank you so much for joining me and and Rita Ejewat Roxin is the corporate affairs and marketing manager also at Nyaho Medical Center. Good morning. Good to have Good you morning. both. Good morning. Good morning. And um, I it's hope everyone here. is well. We are well. Okay. It's scary lately. Now, when you're even coughing small, you're not sure yeah. whether it's corona exactly. or it's not. So, first of all, I need you to explain. I'll come to you, Doc. Uh, explain to me what self observation, self quarantining, and self monitoring are okay. and how different are they? All right. So, uh, quarantine uh, means that you have to. Isolate yourself, um, you don't go out, mm. you avoid contact as much as possible. Okay. This disease is totally new to us, we don't know so much about it, and it's spreading so fast yeah. in a way that uh, it seems to be very difficult to control. Mm -hmm. So quarantine means that you taking measures to reduce contact as much as, as possible. possible. Okay. okay. And then whilst you are in quarantine, uh, there are times you have to observe yourself, your body temperature, if you have mm. a thermometer, mm. um, your pulse, your blood pressure, and then observe yourself if you have any, uh, developing any symptoms that you were not having okay. before. You can yes. check your own pulse. You How do you do that? For people who don't know. Yes, so simply you can just put your f two fingers like this on your radial pulse. Now your radial pulse is your thumb, you just trace down, okay? Okay. Trace down just uh, before the wrist. Okay. Now, when you push a little deep, you will feel, you know, uh, some, some vibrations. Some yeah. vibrations. That's yeah. your pulse. Okay. So you look at the clock, you count for a minute. Okay? Okay. Yes, you count for a minute, your pulse should be less than 100. If it's more than 100, it may be a sign that there's something wrong. Really? Yes. Okay, so more than 100. That is when you are at rest, when you are relaxed, at rest. Okay, okay. Because it's different when you are jogging or you are yeah. exerting yourself. Okay, that's so different. that's you checking yourself to be sure. Yes, that but you're your not... temperature is also very important. If you have a thermometer at home, you check your temperature. Yeah, but if you don't have it, then maybe you can check your pulse check just your pulse. to be sure. Yes. So you... that's what we call what, self what? Uh, observation. Observation. Yes. Okay, so looking out for the signs and symptoms. Absolutely, yes. And how different is that from self-monitoring? Are they the same? The same. Perhaps. Oh, they are the same? The same thing. Okay. Okay, at what point do I start looking out for some of these signs? So, um, if you have a travel history, if you have contact with somebody who has uh, recently traveled mm. outside or into the country. So, whether or not the person has even tested positive? Whether or not. Okay. Yes, whether or not. And also, if uh, contact with somebody who is showing signs, yeah. fever, cough, uh, sore throat, sneezing, you should be... But that's the problem, <laughs> because we are in flu season. Yes. So this seems very confusing. You can't even cough in public, because you are scared. Everybody's going to look at you like, what the hell is going yes. on? Yeah. It's you a know? very tricky situation, because um, even without this uh, outbreak, on a normal day, respiratory illness is so common. Yeah. You know, coughing, cold. Uh, it's a very common reason why people mm -hmm. uh, visit the hospital. So it's a very tricky situation because there are a lot may be non COVID nineteen. Exactly. But some may be COVID nineteen. So how are you able to tell? Let me let me come to you, uh, Rita. Yeah. Because I'm sure that there are a lot of people who have come to the hospital panicking and saying, I'm coughing, you know, I'm sneezing, I'm not sure if I have it. What's the process like usually when we walk into the hospital? Okay, so when you walk into we can speak for Nyaho Medical yeah. Center. Um, and since January we started putting systems in place. Um, so we changed the way usually would come to our facility. 
the first point of call now is a screening desk. I see. Um, so there's a screening desk and there are two um, attendants there who will just take you through like a few minutes screening, ask you some basic questions. Like what Have you traveled mm -hmm. in the past couple of days? Have you been in touch with somebody um, who has traveled in the past couple of days? Have you been in touch with somebody who has tested positive? Mm -hmm. um, what's, are you coughing? Are you sneezing? What are the signs? And then your temperature is taken. Okay. Now, at that point, if you are all clear, then you start the registration process to go to see your So your if doctor. you are not clear, what happens to then you? Then we have um, an isolation room. So oh. if you have, let's say, if you take... If you're a high-risk patient, um, and I'm not medical, so mm -hmm. if you're a high-risk patient, um, we are put in an isolation room. For and, how long? Um, so we, since this started, we have worked with Noguchi, okay. Ghana Health Service, and of course the Ministry of Health. So we know that in Ghana, Noguchi in Accra is, is yes. doing all the testing. Yeah. So we have a very um, good relationship with them over the period. So they come and do the test. I see. And then I think between... Um, if I'm correct, between 8 to 24 hours, yes, you get... Yes. Oh, between 8 to 24? Yes. Well, okay. depending on... Well, now that we are, there are more, more cases... cases yeah. Yes. Um, it's about we're doing ten, about three hours. Yes, but yeah. now the turnover time is about 24 hours, but it could be sooner. So, within those 24 hours, I'm not allowed to go out? So, um, we assess the patient. Is there any life-threatening condition for which the patient needs to stay in the hospital? Okay. Uh, like we already established, most people will present with very mild symptoms, a cough, sneeze. Mm -hmm. Now, such patients, we may send them home, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. to do quarantine. Okay. Isolate yourself. Okay. Yes. Until your test results come back, isolate yourself. Okay. okay. There's a belief that if you're catching a cold, you, know, you can gargle with salt water, you know, drink lemon juice and do all those things. And people think that maybe if you do that, it will prevent you from catching the virus. Is that true? So the thing about coronavirus is that this is a totally new virus. Mm -hmm. Totally new. Okay. Before um, late 2019, we didn't know no. about this virus at all. Mm -hmm. It's totally new. We are, what we've observed is that it's very close to the SARS virus. Mm -hmm. So most of the predictions we are making uh, we are extrapolating how the SARS virus behaved yeah. and also the stories of people who have suffered it, who have recovered, people who have treated sick people. Okay. So that's how we are gathering information. The World Health Organization is collating all this information and sharing with all the countries mm -hmm. worldwide. Um, so it's, 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 a, it's a totally new thing. Uh, most of these remedies, they, they may help you know, with flu and other things, mm -hmm. but they are not tried and tested ways to so, deal so, with So let's just say I'm catching the flu. I still have to do the test just to be sure that I don't have? So... Or do I have to wait to get a fever, yes. start sweating and all those things before I get so worried? So we have a system in place. Now we are all following, in times like this, we all have to come together and then follow the Ministry of Health. As a country, we need to be doing one thing. Okay. The system must work. If we are all doing different things, it will be a problem. Mm -hmm. So the recommendation now is that if you have symptoms, there is a hotline you should call. Yeah. The Ghana Health Service hotline. Given, yeah. it's, it's out there. You can go to the Ghana Health Service website. You can get you it. Get call it. that line. There will be somebody to talk to you who would mm -hmm. ask questions. Would, at the end of the conversation, would we'll characterize whether you are high risk okay. or low risk. Okay. 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 If, depending on the symptoms you are having, uh, we would ask you to come to the hospital, get checked out, get tested. If not, you'll be asked to stay at home, observe quarantine. The emergency number, by the way, is 112. And so if you have to call, um, you know, just so that they can attend to you, it is 112. So now that we're preaching self-quarantine and people are going to be worried because they are stuck in a room mm -hmm. for a long time. I'm waiting to see, um, you know, if I find some symptoms or whatever. What can I do in the meantime to mm -hmm. keep me active, keep me going? You take that? Well, well yeah. I, I, <laughs> okay, I, wait, well, I, because we're well, from the social side, um, people try to do different things. And there are some people who found workout routines. Mm -hmm. And even on social media, we've seen a lot of athletes now trying to, I mean, work out. Yeah. So if you are somebody who enjoys workouts, yes, if you enjoy reading. Um, I think sometimes you can actually work on your mind. Um, it's really what you tell yourself. Yeah. If you tell yourself, oh, God, I'm stuck in this four corners. What am I going to do? Yeah. Find something that interests you. Yeah. Um, use the opportunity to bond with your children yeah. at home because I don't think we get that often. Instead of just um, 
being edgy and mm -hmm. saying so that's more the social side maybe okay yeah. talk what about, about the medical the, the medical yeah. so side hydrate drink a lot of water mm. stay healthy when you eat say a food. lot of water like so we're aiming about two liters to okay so still the same meals. thing still with the infusion same, okay. Yes. okay uh exercise like she's mentioned you can also on the social side you can also try something new okay. get a new skill learn something new read, mm. yeah. baking. read. Yes, cooking. Baking, yeah cooking. All that. All that. All okay. That. Yes. So at least keep your mind active. Keep your body also active as well. So you don't end up um, eating. I, I think I saw something about emotional eating and how people might want to eat so much because they're stuck at one place yeah. not mm. doing much. So mm. um, there's a school of thought that this could also create a mental health you know, situation. Because Some people are not used to you know, staying by themselves, yeah. isolating, you know. It's a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. That's why you need uh, some of these techniques or strategies that we are talking about yeah. to help you uh, cope and deal with the situation. Read your Bible as well. Oh, yeah. yes. It's and important. And just, yeah. just, just to add to that, but I think that um, people are also out there with a lot of information. Mm -hmm. And that is also adding on to the anxiety of quite a number of people. What we recommend is stick to very few sources, credible sources yeah. of information. So if it's international, is it WHO you are following? Mm -hmm. If it's local, are you following Ghana Health Service? Yeah. I mean, at Yahoo Medical Center, we try to put as much information on our website as possible. Okay. And we've actually brought a hotline that we, people can call. Mm. Um, because I know sometimes people have called and say, well, we're having challenges reaching the other numbers. Yeah. So we have a hotline. Um, and I can Which share. Is, okay. Yes, yeah, so we have a 050 um nine four zero four zero four six okay and i can just repeat that zero five zero nine four zero four zero five six it's a hotline for people who have questions i mean just to put your mind put your mind at rest definitely and make sure that you stay active it is equally important now here at tv3 we've also come up with um, some tips on how you can stay active these are 10 things to do whilst you are self-quarantining and so if you go on our social media uh, pages you'll find them go read them and try and practice any of them i'm sure that you'll be fine and look out for the symptoms. If you do, you can just call 112. And also, like Nyaho Medical Center has uh, mentioned, you can call them as well. And if you can walk into their hospital, it would be great so they can uh, take good care of you. Thank you so much for helping us. I've been speaking to Rita Ejewa Roxin, and she's a corporate affairs and marketing manager for Nyaho Medical Center. And also, Dr. Michael Kwafo is a general practitioner at the Nyaho Medical Center.